What's up, sh <laughs> What? Okay, I found this cool little iceberg about, like, uh, Roblox. It's filled with stuff. I got bored. I'm going over this stuff. Okay, the first tier. This is, like, surface level. Most people know this stuff. So, infinite Roblox hacks. Infinite Roblox hacks. They're the most prominent Roblox scam. I think they were created around, like, 2009 at the earliest. Uh, they're most commonly just Roblox games. They, like, are disguised as obbies. You beat this, you get the Robux. Uh, when you beat the obby, it just prompts you to enter your login info or something along those lines or it tells you to go to a website uh, If you couldn't already guess you won't get your robux. You won't get it. Instead You'll just lose your account to some child who threw together a game that you fell for But that's just like one example of this uh, bunch like this JavaScript scams uh, where you have to put this line of code into your URL bar at the top of your browser to supposedly get the free Robux, but these just force your account to buy a t-shirt for like pretty much the same amount of Robux currently on your account. Uh, but in recent time, these scams have been like upgraded, I guess is the word. Uh, so in most front page games, you join it, you look in the chat and it's just spammed with want lots of Robux, go to this website. And it usually just links to a website that asks you to log in with all your info or it just makes you look at ads because the you know person who made it's going to be rolling in dough for that i think typically they ask you to like complete one offer and you'll get your million robux but that's not true that's not a thing all right next john and jane doe actually that's not what it's called it's called march what march 18th march 18th is like the day that they were supposed to delete roblox oh my no i can't believe this but of course, that's not that's not true. These are just like accounts, uh, test accounts made by David Bazuki and Eric Castle. You know, those two people who made the game. They're going to delete their own game. That's a marketing move right there. The only reason people thought that they were like hackers is because they had the IDs of number two and number three. And because they had scary avatars. The rumors started because at some point you could like bug accounts to follow you using some sort of script or something. I don't know. But people used the funny bug to make john doe follow them and make, make jane doe follow them it also allowed you know accounts to become friends with people that like mutual agreement or anything but you know that got patched so consent is key at one point you know roblox had to step in and make a whole blog post about it and they went in depth on like the backstory of the accounts and to like clarify rumors and all that and they clarified that both the accounts were owned and maintained by them by roblox in uh 2017 i think they got these new avatars to like become more player friendly and how they're not scary anymore they're so they're little googles uh, throughout the years they've gotten like badges but i assume that's just because they're still test accounts but their inventory has gotten hidden in 2021 so now you can't see any of that and a uh, fun fact john and jane doe is names that they use to like hide identities for like criminal investigators they'll call people that if they don't want people to know the identities so like that they're unknown scary creepy all right the next next thing admins are greedy now that's really vague but i think it's talking about like the ticks removal and how items used to be locked behind builders club actually that's still a thing isn't it items are still locked behind premium i think or you get like discounts because you have premium uh okay going back to the ticks thing uh people say that removing it was greedy because you used to get like 10 ticks a day i think it was but when they removed it they just didn't give you any reward for coming back every single day and people were annoyed over that so like they could have given you one robux per day uh but you used to get a lot of ticks if people just joined your game so i think instead of removing it they could have refined it so it wouldn't be like abused for money because you could transfer those ticks into robux at a point so that probably went really bad at one point or maybe the ticks is probably just like a really big incentive for you to get builders club or premium because you know they need to pay for the servers because you know millions of people connecting to this big box is not cheap they also i guess skewed limited so you have to like spend even more robux on them and like ads the more you spend the more promotion you get but that's really how every system of ads is I think like the minimum that a hat would cost back when tickets were a thing was like 300 tickets, which is, I don't even know how many Robux that is to be honest. It's probably like 30, I want to say, but I don't know. People thought that was outrageous for some reason, but I don't know. Sounds fine to me. People say that it's like anti-consumer behavior, whatever that is. But honestly, I think they're just trying to pay for the servers because, you know, now there's like billions of people that that's not cheap. I don't blame them. <laughs> The next scary, terrifying, fearful story is just 1x, 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 or 1x, 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 1. That guy's a hard name to say. What the Basically, he was just an exploiter or a leader of an exploiting group, but it's, it turned out not to be true at all. It's just scary. Username, scary. There was a rumor that he would hack everyone, and Shelty, Shelty, I don't know how to say his name, uh, made like stories about him saying he was going to hack everyone. 
and people speculated he was a real hacker, although this is all like shut down by a former admin, Mr. Doombringer. They just went ahead and said no, that's that's not true, you're lying. For some reason Roblox made him a toy, yeah, made him into a toy, but he's terminated, so I don't know how that works, and also the toy looks nothing like him, or like his avatar at least. For some reason he has a green domino crown, I guess. Okay, yeah, he has a, he has a, a skeleton torso and a green domino crown, uh, for, for whatever reason. I don't know what that's about. He was also, you know, had a little easter egg in the 8th annual Bloxy Awards voting area, where you could like occasionally hear announcements telling players to report to a member of the Roblox staff if they have seen the player with the same username. Uh, he was also referenced in the Metaverse Champions Hub with a secret message that said 1x, 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 1 will be here, written in ominous purple ink behind a large rock formation, and it's only visible if the player owns the tiny egg of non-existence. And Apparently, very rarely the message would say 1x1x1x1 is here, or was here. Apparently, he's most iconic for having a round head. So, basically, a bunch of fake hackers also went and wore the round head just to, like, troll and be funny, I guess. I don't know. There's not much about this dude for some reason. So, uh, that's all I've got. Alright, next up, name sniping on the next tier. That's... We're, go we're going down on uh, name sniping. That It's not that deep, I guess. It's just people getting rare usernames. I, I don't know where the sniping part comes from. I guess like if an account gets terminated. Actually, no, it's still it's still taken at that point. I, don't, I guess it's just uh, like sometimes people got bad words or like homophobia, that type of stuff, which is not good. Don't do that. I, I don't think there's much about name sniping. I guess it could be used like maliciously through like impersonation, like putting an L in the name instead of an I or something. I, uh, like Builder man, you could be called Build Iron Man or something. Bider man, Bider man. Yeah, it could be like malicious if you just dress up as him, because then you could like, I'm Builder man. Give me your account. It's it's commonly debated if like inactive accounts that had name snipes like just named T or something should be available for people to take. Like someone who has still water, <laughs> please. But uh, Roblox's stance is just if the name is not in violation. It's staying in case they ever come back because because they matter so much to the community. They give nothing and gain nothing, but it's it's important. All right, next is the loss of trust badge. Uh, it, it's basically a badge that would go on to games that got like lawsuits against them, either by Copa. I need to start coping or others. And um, basically, Roblox would fall back onto this badge and give it to the games that got them into lawsuits to basically say this game might not be kid friendly because we were sued um there's no like actual trust trust badge it's just a loss of trust badge which is not a not a good thing but um the badge is gone because they stopped paying for the website that gave the badges out so <laughs> i don't know how that works <laughs> but i guess now every game has to be trusted and if they aren't they just get terminated or, or deleted as we saw with like um pokemon brick bronze that that game just doesn't exist anymore because it got uh copyright against it and roblox couldn't like i don't know actually that wouldn't be a good example i guess like any zombie game that has blood in it would have the loss of trust badge because you know blood in a kid's game no sir not for me and then they'd get sued for like traumatizing the kid or something but yeah it was, it was basically just a badge that like warned people that the game may not be suitable for children and that's it oh the next one the next one's Pokemon Brick Bronze. I didn't even plan that. I, for some reason, don't look ahead when I make these. Any video I ever make, I have no script for it. So that's cool. Uh, Pokemon Brick Bronze was like literally just a Roblox game that like entirely copied Pokemon. Every asset was like just a Charizard, Charmander. Literally just take every frame, make it 3D, add a little bit of pixelization, and then boom, you got Pokemon Brick Bronze. And of course that's, you know, not allowed on the platform because it's Nintendo. That's like some line you don't want to cross. So of course it got terminated. Who would have guessed Nintendo game terminated? And I, I think they tried to make it come back and then it got terminated again. And then they're, they're like, final warning, don't do that again. I'll ban you forever. So then they remade the whole thing with their own characters. I think it's called like Lumen Legacy or something now, but th that game has not yet reached the same popularity as Pokemon Brick Bronze. And I, I don't really think it ever will. So, you know, unfortunate downfall. I think it was Linkman99? I don't remember who made it, but I think. But yeah, sad, sad story. So the next one's that the Bloxy Awards are rigged. Uh, I mean, there's always a chance, but uh, there's this big thread that I found that's like, uh, I don't know, evidence. So I'll break that down. Uh, the first evidence that this guy has is that the little man always loses, which just means like solo developers 
don't win. Uh, I don't understand how that at all changes <laughs> uh, who wins. <laughs> he claims that like showcases don't win, but I'm pretty sure one did win. I don't remember what year, but I think I'm pretty sure. Uh, he claims that Roblox only allows games with many microtransactions to win, which, yeah, I mean, it's a corporation, they're trying to make money, so I can understand why they'd want the bigger game to win, so that there's an influx of visits, and so that they buy more items from the game. He also claims that only the rich people win, which is, yeah, if your game's popular, you're gonna be rich, regardless. Uh, he also goes into Roblox bias, which is that they pick the most kid-friendly or most addictive games. Instead of picking like creative games with new ideas or anything new to Roblox, they, they pick games that kids are going to be most familiar with and that kids find fun. Because that's <laughs> if the kids find it fun, that's going to be a reason for them to vote for it, which therefore they get the most votes and they win because their game is fun and people want to support the fun game. Uh, going back to like the Roblox picks games that make the most money, I don't think that that's true either because... <laughs> Why would, like, okay, the games are making money for a reason. They must be making it because the game's fun. And if people find the game fun, they're obviously going to vote for it, right? So it's going to get a lot of votes because people find that game fun. And I, I think Phantom Force is one before, which isn't exactly, like, kid-friendly. It has blood and guns and shooting people. But, I don't know, this thread is all over the place, dude. Plus, he also has, like, n no sources or anything in this thread. So, this really just means nothing. So, you know, I don't think it's rigged entirely. I think maybe some things are, but not entirely. Alright, next is that PewDiePie is blacklisted off of Roblox. Um, I'm pretty sure this one starts from when PewDiePie was live streaming Roblox on his channel. Uh, he was streaming it in an attempt to increase his number of subscribers because he was <laughs> doing the PewDiePie vs. T-Series thing. He streamed for one and a half hours and it gained him 42,000 subscribers. Uh, the next day after the stream, he said that he logged on to Roblox and found that his account was deleted. Uh, Apparently, the name of the game that he had created was inappropriate for Roblox. Although the name of the game was just PewDie123T23's place, which is the default. It's just the default place that Roblox makes you. Um, I guess the word die got him banned because it's his username. But uh, a Roblox staff member later commented on his ban and said that PewDiePie is no longer permitted on Roblox due to his content redirecting to unsafe and inappropriate sites, as well as continued inappropriate behavior. I, I guess he was banned for using or encouraging the use of profanity, <laughs> because, you know, he, he swears it's PewDiePie. He, he swore a bunch throughout the whole live stream, which is nothing new. But uh, I, I think the redirecting to unsafe sites was just him trying to tell people to subscribe to his channel and all that, because I guess YouTube wasn't permitted. But uh, he, he's banned for life, I guess. He's, he got terminated. He could just make a new account, but then that one will get banned because that's against the terms of service. So, All right, the last one for this tier and the last one for this entire video, because this has gone on way too long, is Unbanned Quackity, which is a <laughs> It's a very long story, but I'll, I'll try to sum it up. Uh, Quackity used to make like funny Roblox videos uh, until eventually one day, I forget why, but Roblox banned him. In a way of protesting, <laughs> he decided to spam the Roblox forums and made like his fan base spam the forums while live streaming it. At, at one point, they just completely locked down the Roblox forums. And then after his stream ended, I'm pretty sure, or like after a while after it calmed down and they hopped off the website, they decided to reopen the forums and see how that would go. And uh, not surprisingly, it got spammed again and eventually just read, led Roblox to completely delete it. They started deleting the fans' accounts who were spamming the forums, which is understandable. Uh, it eventually went number two on trending on Twitter to hashtag Roblox Unbanned Quackity. So that was, uh, that was a big move because it completely got rid of the forums on Roblox. And now you have to go to like offsite websites that are like sketchy, but I wouldn't exactly do i wouldn't recommend it but yeah that's that's his story also i figured out the reason i got banned is because he, he was saying bad words bypassing the filter which is silly goofy so yeah that's it that's the first two tiers uh i don't know how well this is gonna go but if you want to see more of it just leave a comment like the video any of that show me signs that you enjoy this in the slightest and yeah i'll make more of it if this goes well i suppose make sure to subscribe and all that and yeah here's like a silly outro that i made in like two seconds I get the streamers. Whatever